Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Zamatib 1 of Mathematics 7 for quarter 3. Are you ready, mga noxious? Get ready your pencil, your, no, your ball pen, your paper, your calculator if needed for your summative test number one. Let's start. We'll read first the directions. Read each item carefully. Then write the letter of your correct answer. Use scratch paper if needed for your solutions. Okay? So that's the directions. Very clear. So let's start with number one. Number one. It has no dimension. Usually represented by a capital letter and a dot. Number two, it has an unlimited number of points along the same path represented by a drawn line with arrow heads on its end. For number three, it is a set of points on an endless flat surface. And for number four, it is a part of the line that has two endpoints. And for number five, it is the part of the line that begins in a certain point and extends in one direction. Number 6 it is a union of two non-collinear rays with a common endpoint. Number seven points that lie on the same line. And for number eight, points that lie on the same plane. And number nine, an angle whose measures greater than zero degree but less than 90 degrees.
And for number 10, an obtuse angle has a measure which is greater than 90 degrees but less than what how many degrees? Number 11 All right angles are congruent This statement is Number 12 an angle that measures less than 90 degrees. Number 13. An angle that measures exactly 180 degrees. Number 14, an angle that measures Exact 180 degrees. Two angles are coplanar if both have a common vertex and a common side but have no common interior points that is for number 15 and number 16 two angles whose sum of the measures is 90 degrees and for number 17 two angles whose sum of the measures is 180 degrees Angles are both adjacent and supplementary. And for number 19, which of the following statement is correct? Number 20. Angle A and angle B are complementary angles. If the measure of angle A is 65 degrees, what is measure of angle B? And 
And number 21. Angle X and angle Y are supplementary angles. If measure of angle X is 125 degrees, what is measure of angle Y? Number 22. Angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent and supplementary angles. If the measure of angle 1 is 110 degrees, what is the measure of angle 2? And number 23. If the measure of angle C is 86 degrees and is a supplement to angle D, what is the measure of angle D? Number 24 Name the angle adjacent to angle ZVW. For number 25. Angle M and angle N are vertical angles. If the measures of angle M is 80, what is the measure of angle N? Okay, so that's summative number one. Bye! <laughs>